What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Car News. Today we're going to be discussing the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. It is going to be a re redesigned Ridgeline that should be dropping soon. I believe it should be dropping on the 2nd of February. Um, let's look at the pricing real quick. So there's going to be four trims, Sport, RTL, RTLE, and Black Edition. The Sport is going to be coming in at roughly 37,000 and it's going to go 37, 40, 43 and 45 per trim level. That's including a $1100 destination charge. So that's cool. So let's get into what we see here. All right. So the Ridgeline, it is Honda's pickup truck. It does it is getting a fresh new look. It looks really good. It's going to, it's going to have these sick brown bronze wheels. The front looks redesigned here. The grill looks a little different. It's still going to have its first in class, I guess, um, dual motion door, which is going to be rated, I guess, at 330 pounds, I believe. So if you put any weight on that, 300 pounds is pretty much the max or so pounds is the max. So don't put that much weight on it. But, you know, if you got your dirt bikes and stuff like that. You know, it, it'll handle it. Um, the cockpit, not going to have a shifter. It's just going to have buttons. I've never seen I've never seen the 2020 Ridgeline. So. Um, so I'm looking at this car for the first time right now, the 2021. So it's not going to have shifters. It's going to be all buttons from the, from this image here. Again, all these pictures and all these videos, it's coming straight from hondanews.com. I'll put the link in the description. You guys can check it out. Um, steering wheel looks like a very standard steering wheel. Nothing new, nothing crazy there. Um, stereo, all that looks pretty, pretty basic infotainment screen i did read somewhere that or uh i did read somewhere that the, the infotainment screen is getting an update so it's going to be a lot more faster and smoother uh looks like i can't tell if that's going to be a fully digital gauge cluster i don't think it will be because i see a small screen there but yeah so it looks good the interior looks good let's, let's go check out the press release i really love this the front of this truck with the led headlights on the corners um the grill with the chrome accent there um, I will probably be getting the black edition if I were to get this. I'll probably get the black edition just because I personally don't really like all that chrome. So let's read this um, press release here. The redesigned Ridgeline is coming to Honda dealerships February 2nd. Bold exterior design reflects Ridgeline's ex exceptionally rugged capability. So it is getting a more rugged um, redesign. So fully, trust, fully box truss style floor frame with standard torque vectoring ivtm4 all-wheel drive system delivering a best in class all-wheel drive hauling <clears throat> unmatched versatility including the widest bed in class and a dual action tailgate like i mentioned earlier also the interior the trunk or the the back of the truck <clears throat> it does have a um, storage compartment in there that adds at least like two feet uh like a foot or so of more storage capacity so that's also pretty sick um yeah, it's going to be coming it's going to be coming february 2nd like i said uh bold new styling underscoring is rugged it's rugged and versatile pickup truck capabilities standard v6 power fully independent suspension and standard torque vectoring transmission all-wheel drive gives it the capability of tackling to tackle challenging trails treacherous roads and best in class or class leading ride and handling the manufacturer the msrp is going to be thirty six thousand. So that's not bad for a for a truck i believe that seems like a really good price and like i said there's not that many trims so it's pretty easy to pick where you want to be at um i will be dropping a video to this truck on the 12th i'll be filming it and i will be dropping it on saturday if not that friday night depending on if i can get to the editing and all that um there will be um let's keep reading what we're going to see here um including a new hood with a pronounced power bulge let's check that out yep that looks that's exactly what it looks like um, new square off nose upright grill front fenders flanking grill brighter led lights so that's good i think they are no they're not yeah so it's gonna have brighter lights than last year so it's gonna have a different bumper it's gonna have new exposed twin exhausts and all the trims will feature their 18 inch wheels and an additional 12 millimeters of track width to give the Ridgeline a broader, more planted stance. New tires off, uh, more aggressive sidewall and shoulder design. 
and a radiant metallic red metallic on its exterior color palette it will have what is called hpd which is in collaboration with honda performance development honda's u.s based racing company and adds a unique grill treatment and hdp hpd element emblem black fender flares aggressive bronze wheels and special hpd graphics on the side of the bed the suggested price for that's going to be an extra two thousand eight hundred dollars um boom boom yeah so i think the truck i'm going to be getting to be looking at is going to be um the hpd one i remember the the manager told me something about that um inside the 2021 it's going to add a physical volume knob i guess that was missing before wireless phone charging plus all the ridgeline trims get new contrast stitching in the seats sports trim adds new cloth seat inserts and sport rt rtle um, are going to have new dash steering wheel and center console accents it's going to offer a spacious cabin topping class passenger comfort and rear seat legroom with a flat floor and fold away 60 40 60 40 split rear seats um it's gonna have a 280 horsepower 3.5 liter direct injected v tech v6 backed with a smooth nine speed automatic transmission powering every honda ridgeline with a ivtm4 torque vectoring all-wheel drive now across standard across the lineup so yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be a lot beefier than last year's. Um, and what's the one thing I love about all Hondas is they pretty much their Honda Sensing Suite is pretty much standard across from the from the base trim all the way. No matter what trim you get, you're gonna get all their all their safety features. So, like I said, all in all, I'm really digging this new this new truck, the new truck that they're showing. Um, it just it looks mean. It looks it looks more rugged it could it can compete with like the f-150s and all the, of the worlds uh, i really love bronze wheels so for me i'm very i'm biased with the bronze um i like the bronze wheels so um all right well yeah so that's kind of like a recap of what the 2021 honda ridgeline is going to be about thank you for watching check out my video which will be dropping the 13th or the 12th um for the actual what well, for the actual review again Thank you to Honda of Woodland Hills for letting me do this next in two weeks. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Miguel Car Reviews. I post a lot of pictures there of the cars I've done, just random cars I see. Uh, thank you again for watching. Till the next one. Peace.